Hi everyone, my name is Chen Lin. I'm an undergraduate student. Today, I'm going to talk about the low response time of fork by extending the copy on write to the page level. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the process address space, which will include the virtual memory area and the page table. Second, I'm going to talk about the fourth season code from the history of the fork, of the fork to the improvement like the on-demand fork. Finally, I will talk about the feedback from the IFC patch that I sent into the mailing list previously. In the Linux kernel, the process is described by the test structure, and one of the members is the MM structure. It is the memory descriptor. The MM structure will store the memory information like the size of the reset page and the memory usage of the page table. And for the process, for the process, the, me the memory areas will describe to by the virtual memory area and it is stored the it is stored by MMAP and MMRB fit in the MM structure. The process page table is stored at the PGD member and as the physical and the physical memory you used is described by the structure page which will reside in the page table. Each memory area is described by the VM area structure. A VM area structure is a part of process virtual memory space. It is continued block of address space. The each, v, uh, the each VM8 will not overlap their virtual address range. And all the areas belongs to the same VM8 has, will have the same types. The VM8 can become the anonymous memory or the mem memory map file or either the device memory. There are, some, there are some flags to statements the VM adds, like the VM read or the VM write. It is indicates the both page may be write or read. And they have the flag like VM main read to allow the VM main read to allow VM read seats to the VM A, the corresponds VM A. The process use linked list to link the load layer VMAs, which will stored by the starting address. It is a good way to travel the entire address space, and it also uses the wrap back tree to maintain it. And it allow the kernel use the virtual address for use for costing the log n times to search their VMAs, but the uh, but the wrap back tree have some problems. It is that's the developments to discuss to discuss to discuss the to discuss they have some patch to replace the red black tree with the maple tree. Since the red black tree does not have the since the red black tree does, did not handle the lock list did not handle the log list implementation to do the balanced operation. And the traversal is not the, the grass is not as good as you think. So here is a layout of a linked list sort of the VM at, at first, we have seen that the test structure I mentioned before. And it the member of the MM will point to the MM structure and the MMAP member will point to the first node of the linked list of VMA. And the, each VMA will describe layer areas, which will be like the shared library or the data or the task. And you can use the process file system to get the information of the each areas. Like here, you can use, like here, you can see it, the starting editors and the end editors and each the statements of the areas you can assist.
on 64 bits architecture, there can be have five level patch table to describe the patch to describe the virtual editors in your process. Each level have their well use the part of the virtual editors to specify the layer index to indicate that the next level or the next physical patch where it is. And each patch table has 512 index with 8 bytes long value. It will store the next level's information. And for a huge patch, 2 megabytes huge patch will reside in the PMD entry and 1, megab 1 gigabyte huge patch will reside in the PUD entry. Here is how you use the virtual editors with patch table to travel out the physical memory where it is. At first, you use the MN structures member. As first, you use the PGD, which is the MN structure member, to get their own process patch table. You will get the top level of patch table, PGD, and use their part of the virtual editors to offset get to use the offset function to get their index and point to, out to the next level. And at least in the lowest level PTE table, you can use the you can also use the offset to get the corresponds structure patch, which is describe the physical memory. And at least you can use the lowest 12 bits of the virtual editors to get the triggers that the virtual editors will indicate to get the object you want. So the patch table will protect by the read write semaphore, form, which is the patch table lock in the MN structure. And it does have provide the speed lock of the patch table to improve the performance, like the PMD and the PTE have their lock if you turn on the URL config. The patch table allocated by the, the physical memory, which is from the body system, and it, so it is not from the slab allocator or the others allocator that the kernel you used. To free the patch table, you can you need to use the free pg tables function, and for remove the user patch in the patch table, you will you. You will need to use a that patch range function, and it will call to the unmap single VMA functions. The patch table index and entry have the present flag. When you clear the flag, it means that the next level or the next level patch table or the physical patch is in the swap, or they never exist. It for PT entry, which is the lowest patch table level you need to first convert to the patch frame number then you can you can use the sum function to get the structure patch and it is related to the physical memory model which is out of the scope in this slide we will not talk about at here so here we are starting to talk about the four season code the history of four season code is the fourth season call is starting is first mentioned as 1963. It is simplicity and clear clear V at first, which is at the Unix version zero. It is implemented by 27 lines in PDP7 assembly. At last time, the fork is simple and easy to do the concurrency. Usually it is used as fork and exclusive pair to create the new new process. But current in a modern operating system it need to consider a lot of things like the pin page or the locker and the timer or either the synchronized IO. In the Linux in the Linux kernel all the functions for creating a process will call a kernel clone and it uses an argument to specify what should be shared between the calling process and the child. For the user space, they have three system call functions you can use to create a process. 
First, the clone ceiling code has the 32 bits flag and it's all used. So if you need more bits to escape more flag, uh, the debug, the, de the development, development, the development introduction the clone three season code. The flag of the clone three season code is wider. It is 64 bits and it also can resize the argument to allow the more bits to represent the flag that if you want to use in the future. And this, the B4 is useful in the performance sensitive implementation and it does not copy the patch table from the parents. Instead, it will reuse the parents patch table. And also it uses the wait for complaint mechanism to block the parents until the child finished their work. But they have some restriction between the V4 and exclusive. Like it cannot do the allocation and the lock. And in addition, it has a pop the user space can also use the POSIX spawn to create a new process. And it's just like the V4 plus exclusive, but it will it just the wrapper function. The process spawns use the clone system code and it uses the clone VM and the clone V4 flag, which the clone VM will share the will share the VM between the process and it just increases the reference count of the MM structure. And the clone V4 will block the parents until the child release it. Released. And the POSIX spawn is fast and lightning since it does not copy the memory from the parent. And for the fork, it will copy the virtual memory from the parent. It's not, it doesn't see the clone VM flag to the kernel clone. And it will travel all the entire VMA list of the process. And for each VMA, if it is the memory map file, it's only just increase the reference count of the VMA and add it to the shared area. Otherwise, like the normalized physical patch, it will call the copy patch range to travel through all the patch table and copy the corresponds patch to their for, for their memory areas. And it need to hold the MM structure MM block. And as usual, it will copy the PGD, P4D, and PUD table. Since the huge patch resides in PUD and PMD entry, it needs to consider whether the entry is a huge patch or a patch table. And for a PTE table, doing it will do the copy PTE range. And for the patch, it needs to handle something like a swap or RSS state and a PTE lock and a copy on write. The copy on writes, it does not copy the entire physical patch when during the fork. And it will just copy the PTE entry to the child process and see the write protection on both sides. And it does not do the copy on writes when the last patch is pinned by the parents. Also, and when doing the copy on write the patch, the physical patch, it will update the RSS statements to the MM structure. And it need to maintain the reference count of the physical patch and since it was be shared. shared. And the copy on write will defer the copy work from the copy PTE range function to the patch force. And when, so it is, when someone want to modify that shared page or the object, the right fault authors, then they will do the break copy on write, which means that he will copy the page and that's the corresponds process to reference that copied page. So in the X86, it will do the break copy on write in the do write protection page function. But they have some problem with the GUP pinning, which we will fix at the recent patch series and we will talk about later. 
So the currently copyright rights of the physical badge will be like this. It's after the fork, the physical the physical badge will share between the parents and the child. But the parents and child will have their own patch table to describe their virtual address. And here is something we can improve it. That we can expand the copy and write to the patch table to reduct the copy work during the fork. And that's the copy work to the patch fork, like the physical patch that do this before. So the idea is come from the previous year's paper, the on-demand fork. The on-demand fork is do the copy and write to the PDE table, which is the last level of the patch table. And it's it's and it does not do it on the shared or the BRK or the non anonymous VMA. And you need to be careful about doing the copy and write to the PTE table multiple times during the single fork. It will be the prop it will be the problem since you will do the copy and write twice or main or either the multiple times during the single vote and you expect that you will only do the once times as one as the same PTE table. So the on demand folk deal with it with editors with only as only do the copy and write to the PTE table that's the tip the address range of that table is fully covered by the single VMA. And it's at the break copy on read to of the patch table in the handle MM fault. So why the on demand for only do the copy on writes on the PD table? Because the latency problem is mostly reside in the PD table and the physical patch. Since you will acquire the PTE log and the copy the PTE table, and the PTE table is most is the most used in the patch table, since it is lowest level of the patch table, and it need to assist the like the reference count, which is atomic operation, and the overhead of it is very expensive. And to avoid this, it will skip the access to the PTE and the physical pedal, which is doing the copy on right. And it does not increase the M map log M does not increase the map count of the structure patch. And the map count is doing the cop is doing the counting the reference from the patch table. And it's used the reference count to control the lifetime of the shared table. And the shared table will always become the read only. And when the reference and when the reference count is zero, it will free the shared shared table. And the currently copy and write physical page mechanism will be reserved. And there is some other information for sharing the page table here. When the address range of the VMA does not cover all over the entire PTE table, then it will not do the copy on write to that table, like the left of two VMA. But when you cover the entire PTE table and you can do the copy on write, like the write the rightmost size of the VMA. So what did I improve that? I do some things based on the on-demand fork, but they have some difference. The first, I reuse the table when the reference count is one. And I do something trick to let the range of the patch table available to the copy and rights. I let the more larger range of the patch table available to do the copy on write. 
and it's they are only implementation on the PT table and also excluding the shared and BRK VMA. And I introduced the ownership for updating the pitch table state, like the RSS or the PG table bytes to their MM structure, since it will reuse the table. And the pitch tables, and because of this, the pitch table state of the child will not synchronize the pitch table state to their MM structure and it will become more complicated than the on-demand fork. But the memory usage will be reduced since you did not reuse the shared pitch table. And, oh, and my patch, my patch will allow the range of the VMA can cross over the PTE. The on-demand fork use the address range of VMA and PT to avoid the multiple time of copy on writes in a single fork. And my idea is simple. Because the patch table memory, the memory of the patch table is allocated with the GFP0 flag, and it will initialize that memory by zero. So we will know that whether the destination PMT entry has been met to the source PTE table or not. So, as top side of the VMA, it will first assist the top level of the, the top side of the PTE table. So the top side of the PTE table will be well doing the copy on write PTE, and when we you travel to the next VMA, the next VMA will assist the same PTE table and which it on, it's already do the copy and write PTE and it will not do it again since the corresponds PMD entry have the value. And when that VMA travel to the next entry and well, and it will do the copy and write to the last corresponds PTE table and will update the destination of the PT PMD entry. So it will fully copy, do the copy on write in the two entry, which will allow the VMA across the PTE table. So here is the finite 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 state machine. As here, you can see it when the normal process do the copy on write PTE fork, the parents when the parents, the shared, the shared PTE table statement, statement, you can see it here. The reference count will become two, and the owner will be, will be the parents, and the parents ISS state will can will have it, and the child does not update it. And when the parents or the child fork and it will goes again to that statement. But when the when the child want to write their shared shared PTE table or the or following physical page, it will do the break copy on write and the ref the reference count will be decreased and the child RSS will be updated. And after that, when the parents also writes it the parents will reuse the shared page and will come back to the init initialized state let's come back to come back to the shared statement when the parents want to write to the shared pt copy shared pte table it will release their his ownership and decrease the reference count and it will the child the child RS, RSS, RSS statement will preserved since it does not know the parents do the right vote there. But when the child want to write that shared PT table, it will know that there does not have the owner and we will reuse that the shared copy, copy on write PT table. But when the child want to fork it will the child will get to the owner and the reference count will increase 
and the child of the child this RSS statement will not update again since like the previously parent and the child relationship and it just loop again so here is the benchmark of the one gigabyte mapping of the fork the following information is from the process memory information the total the total memory usage is 32 gigabytes and the left side is the default fork as you can see the patch table memory usage will increase almost twice times but when you use the copy pt cops copy on write pt it will just increase only 100 kil kilobytes and the performance in my implementation the let does not in does not reduct the latency or increase the time but from the on demand fork it does have the improvement from for the latency from the latency of the fork so it seems like does not have the problem with my patch so i send the rfc patch to the mailing list and i allow the user to use the clone flake to enable the copy and write to the pte table and here is i change here is the statement i change and here's i get the feedback and the first is that it's don't need to explore the copy on write to the user since the current currently the copy on write physical patch does not have it and why should you do it to the copy on write patch table so prob probably i will change the clone fake to the system control file or the kconfig and second it's lack of use case the developments are not convenient yet since the one gigabyte mapping fork is not the actual use case it is too far from the real world and even i provide the snapshot of database use case from the on demand fork it still have has a better choice like the user for fd reputations and it will let the copy on write and the fork implementation become more complicated and they just have the bug of the copy on write physical patch with drooping pin pinning and have been fixed recently and the copy on write physical patch used the statement of the page table and the structure page to control it and now i just propose the copy on write of the page table so it's just more un easy un easy, easy it's just make more complicated so what does the droopy pinning do the droopy pinning it's the it just called a function like the get user page it will pin pin the user page in the memory and it just do the map the user space memory to the kernel space and it's pinning pinned by increase the reference count of the physical page and since the copy and write and the droopy is all their, their implementation with the reference count it have some problem when they come together so the currently copy and write implementation will skip the pinned page and it still have the bug but fixed recently and here is some discussions here and here is the user for fd of the right protection the user for fd system call will create a file descriptor for handling the patch for in the user's page in the user's space it will receive uh, the user space the user for fd Reportation will reduce the memory region with the list flag and 
it will receive the patch for notification when the right protection pack patch is written and it is a better way of improving the snapshotting presently the camera just already use it and the radius that i mentioned pre the before the slide that use the snapshotting of the database is tends to use this too and yeah so when i make this slide I just saw the previous related discussion from the 2011 and the discussion's topic is that as the process size increased, the fault performance will be problemed. The, the duplicates, the duplicates, the patch table from the parents to the child will affect the fault performance. And in 2018, 18, a conclusion was come up and it's just use a policy response to avoid a copy patch table. And it, the policy response have some problem at the 2011 and it just fixed at a month of the 2018. So it can use right now. And it was the better choose when you want to avoid the copy word from the parent from the folk there's uh, there's are still some other things need to deal with the copy on my page table like the interaction with the map com reference count and the statement of the anonymous page and the get user page i need to deal with it too also the swap patch table worker and other stuff that I have list in the following so I just now I now I just have idea to fix the map count and the interactive with the anonymous, anonymous page and the get user page and swap and the patch worker but the following that's just still in the to-do list so even we fix all the above problems do we really need the copy and write of the page table the the fork is an old implementation of creating the process since the fork is simple as first proposed proposed at first but it comes complex right now and still it's is still need to consider the issues like the security that the child will replicate the entire vir virtual editor space of the parent which will have the same memory layout and it, the hacker will can easily more easily to attack the parent from the child from the information of the child and it is slow after the fork since the copy and write just deferred the copy work to the patch fault and when you when you are doing the break copy and write you need to allocate the physical memory and do the copy work which will cost time and as the David said it just not convenient that when you are doing the sum optimize for the things that will increase the additional comple complexity and he also mentioned the Microsoft research that is a fork in the root age is discussed the fork from the beginning and it was development and how it is worst in the modern operating system and said that it cannot do the things for the fork which will affect our operating system design. So what's going on next? They still have some choice to avoid using the fork, like the policy spawn or the V fork. But the fork is still in use in some other in some case. And when the process patch table is big enough, it will be slow. However, improve the performance with the copy on my patch table will increase the implementation 
it will increase the complicate of the implementation and it is not easy to maintain and it needs more realistic use case to preserve other developments that it is it's a, that it is still have has a benefit for this patch when we include the maintenance work so it's still have a lot of room when the copy on right of the patch level wants to merge into the mainline and thank you for listening thanks <laughs>